The deadline to sign up for the Affordable Care Act, or Obamacare, is a week away. People and companies have been in flux over the ever-changing mandate since the inception, both the good and the bad. Uh, A couple of really good things. Number one, having 26-year-olds being able to stay on a plan with their parents is excellent. Almost everyone thinks they're indestructible. I've never had somebody graduate from college that came to say, Mike, I need to have health insurance. My parents will take care of me, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Obviously, I think the next thing is having guaranteed issue. Now, it comes with both plus or minus, but the plus side is that people with even modest health problems in the past would either be declined or rated much higher for pre-existing conditions. So it's a level playing field for everybody. So I don't have to worry about any medical questions whatsoever. The downside is in order to absorb higher risk people, two things occurred. Prices have gone up and benefits have gone down. They're still acceptable, they're still manageable, people won't go broke if they have insurance, but there has been a trade-off. The other trade-offs have been smaller doctor list, smaller drug formulary list. Chamber member Fountain Valley Regional Hospital was way out in front early with their path to health. Path to health is our community education and awareness campaign uh, for the community to understand what the Affordable Care Act is. Uh, We've uh, been working with uh, community partners to offer uh, education and enrollment events. We offer certified enrollment counselors here on our campus as well uh, for patients that are in the hospital, as well as community uh, community enrollment counselors in the community to um, enroll uh, people that are interested in obtaining health insurance through the Covered California Exchange. It's been actually pretty good. We've been holding a lot of different events, uh, again, through community partners. Um, We've been holding events here at the hospital as well. To date, Covered California has enrolled over 87,000 Orange County residents. System hiccups, however, are still happening, with a reminder to be ready with the right information before Tuesday. And I find that a lot of the people that are calling don't have their financial information gathered. And knowing what their income was last year, their income this year, and frankly, a lot of people's jobs have changed uh, where they're getting less hours, some intentionally as a result of the employers trying to avoid you know, paying for health benefits. The final downtown task force meeting was held this month after six months of combining business, business owners, civic, residents, and others to develop recommendations to the city council in April. Although the task force was created before the U.S. Open disturbance, many of the U.S. Open-related issues were covered early on and made part of the final task force agreements. So we're going from 14 acres to 9 acres. There's going to be no music. We're really downscaling it and making it a true surf contest and skate contest. So I think James and IMG get the vision of what we want. Late night downtown alcohol related problems were also made part of the recommendations that the city council had already started addressing. The council was responding already to the concerns of the residents um, about the impacts that they have due to the late night uh, recreational scene downtown. Trying to rein those bars in that don't really uh, live up to the standards of what we have here in Huntington Beach and we have to uh, take into consideration all our residents and how they feel about it. It's not just the businesses and and then the residents, it's the residents and the businesses, and they really need to live together. Overall, does the business, and more specifically the business downtown community, come out ahead from six months of meetings? Good question, and, and the question will be answered in time. I don't think it was great, um, but I don't see any ground loss for businesses and the vibrancy of the businesses. I think what we've put into place is a foundation, I use the word again, a foundation to, to allow businesses to create a better downtown environment where in the long term, with any luck, they'll be able to do a better job at, uh, at their business. I think the business community will be stronger because we all know each other now a little bit better. We're all friends and competitors, but in reality, the more people downtown and the the better behaved they are, it's going to be better for everybody. So it's a good thing. And the new Van Skate Park opened up this past Saturday. It's been a three-year in the making between three great big companies of the industry that literally stepped up 
Uh, yeah, this came about as a project that really was the folks down at Jack Surfboards here in Huntington Beach talked to us about early on and they had this vision and they teamed up with Steve Van Doren, um, our VP of Promotions and Events, and talked about how could we do something like this locally and the city had this great piece of land and they, the idea came together about how to team up a van skate park um, with a, a Jack's Garage shop and a Taco Surf and Skate and put together a thing that basically created an all day experience for a kid to be able to come here, hang out, have a great time, get a little bit to eat, shop at Jack's. It, it really was a perfect uh, marriage of all three. Feeling today is unbelievable for the city of Huntington Beach to have a great place to be in, which is a skate park between Jack's and Vance. We've been dealing with Vance 27 years, and uh, first thing I came and asked those guys you know, to do the skate park together. They were excited, and they never turned me down. They said, we okay with it, and please go ahead to the city and negotiate the land, and negotiate the place, we back you up. Well, it's great because, of course, on the uh, beach side of town, you have the uh, U.S. Open of Surfing, uh, as well as several other surf contests. And this is going to make it so that uh, we actually have a competitive angle to the inland side of Huntington Beach, right next to the freeway, uh, and with the access to the rest of Orange County and the Southern California region. Funny enough, because I got a, a surf skate shop, so, you know, um, it's great for kids, so this is what we need. And uh, I'm glad Huntington did this, so. For your Huntington Beach Chamber of Commerce, this is Matt Liffering.